Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek and in this video we will complete the work that we started in my previous video. In my, in my previous video we have set up an Azure SQL failover group using Terraform and in this video we will do the testing and at the end we will destroy all our resources. So what I'm right now doing is I've opened SQL Server Management Studio and I'm connecting to my primary node and then my secondary node and lastly I would just use the read write listener and I'll connect to that as well. Uh, I had hard coded my password and user in my code but we can easily use the Azure Key Vault. So right now I'm just using my server names uh, and using the username and password that I had provided and I'm connecting to all my SQL servers. Also the firewall rule you know how we whitelist the public IPs so that also has been taken care from my code so that code goes and whitelists your client IP so there is nothing else that you need to do so if you just deploy from Terraform all your nodes are ready and are ready to accept your connections and lastly we will connect to the read write listener name I'm using the same login and password uh, this is not the best practice but this is just for the sake of understanding so i have hard coded the user as i previously mentioned uh, yes i am now connected to my primary my secondary and my read write listener name so we will do a small test we will create a table and then we will, we will see whether the table gets created in the secondary as well and then we will insert a record and then we will see whether the record propagates to the secondary and then we will try to insert a record from the secondary and see what error message do we get so this is a very basic table address and i'll create it i've selected my read write node and i will run my create table command Right now there are no tables so we are creating the table right now let's run this command whoops let's change the context yep successfully completed and if I see the tables I can see the address table let's go to the secondary it should be there by now yes we have the address table and let's now just uh, insert a doc I mean a record it's it's uh, you know some vague record doesn't have any sense but yeah I just put in something I'm just confirming that I do not have records previously in those tables so I did a select and yep no records uh, let me run the insert command one row affected let me check again and yep the record is successfully inserted let's see our secondary now let's do a select Right click, select 100 rows, I mean 1000 rows. Yeah, so we have the record in secondary as well. So our geo replication, which is part of the failover group, is successfully running. And if you see, I cannot insert anything in my secondary. Uh, the error uh, is self-explanatory. Let's do a failover now. Uh, I'm doing a manual failover. So from the portal, uh, if I initiate the failover, let's wait for some time. And the rule should change. Our secondary should take over the primary role. And 
vice versa and then what we'll do is we'll just try to insert something in secondary which will be our primary after the failover let's wait for a couple of minutes and the failover should be done so uh, just looking at the diagram that we have from uh, Microsoft so we always use the read write listener and internally it changes the roles so you don't have to worry about anything you just need to connect to your read write listener and all the failovers and I mean you do not have to worry about the failovers and which one is active and which one is your secondary we try to insert in the secondary now and the data is inserted and in primary if I run the command okay so I inserted from secondary and the data is now available in my primary so that's it our test was successful let's do the fail back why I'm doing a fail back is that I need to make a our environment as it was so that I can destroy it so uh, this is my terraform again and I'm running the command terraform destroy and also I'm using the auto approve flag so what it will do is it will not ask me for a confirmation and it will go ahead and destroy my resource group so uh, in anything that is inside my resource group will be destroyed uh, I can refresh and check uh, it will take a couple of minutes and all the resources all my SQL resources the seven resources that were added uh, will be destroyed we can see uh, it is right now working and it's still destroying what what uh, what is important to note here is terraform is fairly simple to deploy stuffs and to destroy stuffs but you need to be very careful because it will go ahead and destroy everything and if you have data in your database and you have not properly backed up or taken it out then it will I mean you will not be able to recover it unless you know uh, from the portal your backups or the deleted databases are available yes yeah, so that's it uh, our terraform RG resource group is now empty no resources and that was fairly quick uh, destroy so we have destroyed seven resources our terraform rg resource group is also destroyed so that's it uh, i hope you enjoyed my content and do subscribe